Abraham, there was no Jew. There was no Israel. It was Gentile. It was just people in general. But he made that covenant to Abraham before he even circumcised Abraham. And seeing people just tend to forget that. So we were brothers and sisters of Abraham because he made the promise. He made the promise before Abraham was set aside. So therefore, that's why the Gentile got drafted in because we were all of the same people of Abraham. But God had he had his way that he was going to bring it to pass, which is by, remember over in Isaiah, he said, and the Gentiles, the Gentiles are going to seek him and love him and care for him because we were under the same umbrella that Abraham was at the time he made the covenant. Amen. So therefore, that's why we have this opportunity. So God has never broken his covenant. No matter what I do or what she does, we should never break the covenant. <clears throat> For better or worse, we think of worse, and y'all have to read the rest of it. I'm sorry that the time get away from me. But for better or worse, listen, worse, we always think of worse if somebody gets sick or losing their job. You know, nobody never dream of, can I stay with my spouse after they commit adultery? Because we don't think that's going to happen, do we? That's worse. Right? Anybody disagree? We made a covenant, right? For better or for worse. God made a covenant with Abraham. Look how many times Abraham had turned their back on. Not Abraham per se himself, but his generation. Look how many times they turned their back on God. And God still loves them, don't he? Oh, hallelujah. Because he made a covenant. God said, I knew you was going to do that. Now, we don't know our spouse is going to do those things. But remember, we made a covenant. It's not a contract. Right. So a covenant, we stood before God in the great cloud of witnesses and said what? For better or worse, for richer or poor, till death do us part. That means the only thing can <coughs> separate me and my wife is one of us got to die. Mm, Nothing else is going to suffer. Is anything going to make us rock and shake? Of course. But ain't nothing going to separate us. Is anything going to make us get angry at one another? Of course. But nothing is going to separate us. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Do we understand? Yeah. So stop thinking worse. Think of worse as your worst. What's your worst? What's your worst? You think about that. It's because we think of worse, is, like I say, being sick. You know, I may have to take care of him. He may have to take care of me. And, and I may have, you know, lose a leg or I may go blind. That's bad and that's and that's bad. That's that's worse. But that it can get worse. You understand? Amen. So you made that covenant. You made that covenant. You signed that piece of paper, which we call the marriage agreement. You signed that. You the one stood up there and said, for better or worse. You the, what the minister asked each one of you individually, right. didn't they? For better or worse. Amen. Okay, somebody violated the covenant, but that doesn't mean the covenant ends. Right. Abraham generation and violated that covenant with God so many times that you can oh, God is the only one to keep up with it. But he still looks after him. Amen.